welcome back guys so this is question 23 of section 4.6 and we have to find here that the convert the following expression to sum of product form okay so this is question number three and we have previously solved it and uh, i will put a link of it over here okay here it will be the link of this question that how did we solve it and the answer of them are here as a part a b and c okay so the answer of these questions are given here so now in question 25 what are we asked to find so we have to define the domain of each sop expression in problem 23 okay so this is problem 23 and we have to find the domain and convert the expression to standard sop form okay so here we have these uh, three questions and their solutions and we have to find out the domain of those expressions okay and also we have to convert them to the standard form okay so let me first write the domain of these expressions so the domain here okay so the domain for part a is what that would be a c d Okay. Similarly, for part B here, we have the domain is also A, C and D. Okay. And for C, we have also A, C and D. Okay. Why A, C and D? Because you can see here that all the terms here, which are the products and are added together are composed of any of the items which are in the domain. Okay. So the domain items are basically those items from which the product terms are constituted. Okay. So this is the domain. Okay. So these are basically the domains of these questions. Now after it, what we have to do, we have to standardize them. So let me write the standard form okay so what do we have to do in order to convert them into the standard form we have to look at each of the term here just like here we have a c c d a d and uh, where wherever we have the missing item what we have to do we have to add them with the expression which i will tell you okay so here we have this a c plus c d prime plus a d okay and previously we have seen that all the domain with which this solution is constituted are composed of a c and d okay so now here we can see that here in this term we have d missing okay so what do we have to do i have to add this d plus d prime which is always equal to one with it okay with it what do we have this is cd okay so we can see that here what is missing here we have a is missing okay so here we have to add a plus a prime equal to one because this is one okay and one is this is when multiplied with them so we can see that one is the multiplicative identity and it will give me the same answer similarly here in this term we can see that c is missing so therefore i have to write here c plus c prime equal to 1 why did i wrote here 1 because these are equal to 1 so uh, this is for your understanding so let me now remove them because i have to add them and where do i have to add them i have to add it here this here and also this here okay so let me write them here what do we get here we will get a c and with it i have to multiply d plus d prime okay similarly with c d prime i have to multiply this one a plus a prime and with this third term a d i have to multiply a d and this would be c plus c prime okay so this would be the expression so let me now open it so how to open it we have to multiply this with all the terms here this with all the terms here and this with all the terms here as well so let me move down somehow okay so now it will be a c d plus a c d prime okay similarly here c d prime a plus c d prime a prime and also a d c plus a d a d c prime okay 
So now let me arrange them. What do we get? This would be ACD. This would be ACD prime. It will remain the same. Similarly, rearranging them in such a manner that the alphabet which comes before the other one should be at the position which is higher than the previous one. So here I have to write A C D prime and here it can also be written as A prime C D prime similarly here A C D and here A C prime D okay. Uh, here we can very clearly see that this A C D this A C D these are same and uh, ACD plus ACD will be equal to what that would also be the ACD. So ACD plus ACD this is also e always equal to ACD okay. Uh, similarly here we have ACD prime there is no ACD prime here uh, yes this is this one this one is here and also here and we can see that let me move down further as well. So here I will have ACD prime plus ACD prime. So according to the Boolean algebra, we will have ACD prime. Okay, uh, A prime, CD prime, AC prime, D. Okay, so there are no other uh, terms which are here. Okay, so let me write them here. So I will get here ACD, and this would be plus. ACD prime okay and plus A prime CD prime okay this is added together so now also this AC prime D okay so what is this this is this uh, standard form and we have seen that this is what we have obtained after finding okay let me now uh, write them somehow clearly. So this is what this is the standard form of my equation in which I can see that all the terms which were in the domain okay now included in all the terms okay. So this is the solution of part A of my question 23 okay. So let me look at the second part of it. So this was what this was basically the part A and in this 25 question question number 25 I have solved it okay. Uh, similarly for part B we will try it in our upcoming video because it is enough for today and uh, I hope uh, you have understood all the steps which we have carried out here. So in the other video we will try to solve part B and part C. Till then take care of yourself and I will see you soon.